Hi, on MPI, brought to you by DigiKey. This week it is Vishay Alidigata. What is the new product introduction of the week this week? But before you say what it is, I do get emails sometimes. They said, why do you have NPI with like a triangle and all this stuff? I'm like, look, triangles are used in all sorts of things. Uh, but look. Yeah, it's the Vishay logo. It's look, down. it matches. Matchy, matchy. I don't know where you came up with the NPI logo, but I because it's inspiring. I was looking at so like... the all-seeing new product. I... I on NPI, new product introduction, and I thought a triangle was uh, like electronics. Yeah, it's cool. Okay, anyway, this week oh. is Vichay. Do you want me to run the mouse? Yeah. Okay, this week is Vichay. We're going to be talking about an RGB IR sensor from them new. Uh, they just came out with this. This is called the Vemel 6046X00. Usually it's just Vemel something something, usually 64 or 3200, but this time they added some extra characters. Um, and this is, there's also the 6040. This is actually totally separate than the 6040. This is an RGB sensor with IR. And um, Vichy is known for their light sensors. We have um, tons that we stock, especially their infrared sensors and their Lux sensors. The Vemel 7070 is a very popular one. Um, their TSSP series, the VCNL infrared distance sensors are very popular. Um, the reason you know, first off, we don't carry that many RGB sensors anymore, uh, which is why I was looking at this one. But another reason is one of our more popular sensors, the Vemel 770, is a Lux sensor. And people really like Lux sensors because they're, it's not just a, a number that's like how much light there is, but it's actually a calibratable number. And this sensor can go up to 140 kilolux. Now, sunlight, you know, kind of goes to up to about 1,100 uh, kilolux, but, you know, depending on whether there's reflected light or glare, you know, it could be higher than that, or maybe you're on the surface of the sun. Um, in which case, we've had people who've wanted higher uh, kilolux se um, sensors, and this one um, can go up to 188. And this sensor works how you sort of expect. There are four diodes inside, each one tuned for red, green, blue, or infrared. Uh, each has a separate ADC. There's I squared C that you can communicate with over. You power it from 3.3 volts. There's an IRQ pin as well. So if you want to trigger from low or high signal, um, you can code it with almost any microcontroller or microcomputer. And you can um, configure the ADC. You know, I'll show you later. There's um, uh, register bits for setting different gains and which one you want to read and the speed and et cetera. Uh, and then you get the data out. It's And there's like a, a, a clear top on it so you don't have to use any special lensing. You just expose it to light and you're good to go. Um, one thing I liked is that they uh, did a pretty good job calibrating and um, explaining the sensitivity of the red, green, blue, and IR. That's kind of in the middle there. So the green is almost always going to be the most sensitive, um, but red is only 90% and blue is about 70%. So using these numbers, you can um, reverse correlate if you want and make them like totally normalized. Um, IR is much lower. That's you know, not unusual. Um, they also show you that there could be up to like 15% variation with temperature. Um, as mentioned, what I like about this is not is it not only is it an RGB sensor, but it's also a Lux sensor. And they give you, there's an app note as well with more details, but they give you how to convert the RGB and the um, integration time into Lux. Um, and as you can see on the bottom right, you know, yes, you have to have um, high integration time. So let me see, it's 6.2, sorry, low integration time. So 6.25 um, milliseconds uh, and half gain, you can get 170, 180 uh, kilolux um, range out of this device, which um, is interesting because recently we had um, someone ask me, hey, I want a replacement for the MAX 4409. The, uh, 4409. This is a discontinued Lux sensor that could go up to 188 kilolux. And I said, actually, I don't know any other sensor that can go. That's a true Lux sensor that, you know, is calibrated for Lux that can go that high. Now we do. It's the, the Vemel 6046X00. Easy to solder, comes in um, easy to pick and place uh, package with nice big pads, uh, center ground pad, just follow um, the patch, uh, package. Designation, don't forget you need three volt logic, three volt power. I squared C, I like that it all the commands fit on one page. It's not a you know totally ridiculous, um, huge um, 
configuration and, and setup for this device. Um, you know, you can read the 16 bits from all the uh, diode ADCs. There's also an ID code register, which I really like. So you can verify that this is the actual sensor you think you're connecting to. Um, there's a little bit of configuration. They do have code available that is, um, you can set it up to configure over, like, you know, if you're using the STM32 or using, in this case, Arduino, they tell you, hey, here's how you extract the library. It's not like in the library, Arduino library manager, but, you know, it, the code is there. It's just you have to kind of unzip it and, and put it into your Arduino folder. Um, but you can get started that way if you are interested and uh, writing your own driver quite yet. And available, available, it's available. It's in stock. Lots in stock, and it's not tariffed either. So you can pick it up. It's a very good price. Um, you know, I definitely um, I got ten samples, so I'll see. Maybe I'll make a breakout for this because I do like that it has RGB and that high lux range um, for the people who need it. I guess maybe we want to have something like: Is it tariffed? Yes. No. The thing is, it, it's going to change. It could change. It could change. But as, yeah. as of right now, it is not tariffed. Oh, you know what we could do? We could have a box. And we could say, inside of this box is if it's tariffed or not. But you'll not know until you open the box. Right now, it's not tariffed. And it's in uh, stock. Uh, uh. Pick it up from DigiKey. OK, great. Thanks, guys. Hi, on NPR.